I'm with Santa Cruz artist Mary Brooks today in her studio. Mary does uh, many abstract works, um, which is uh, something many people um, don't know much about. And there's a, a big creativity component in, in abstract uh, work. Mary, can you talk a little bit about creativity and abstract art? Um. It's a, it's an enormous subject. First of all, it's very personal. Uh, some people start abstract art by um, by working with geometrics, with verticals and diagonals, and um, others start with color and just find such excitement in color and shapes. And there are other things you work with in a painting besides a visual recognition of a tree say, or um, a visual recognition of a face. Um, you work with rhythms, first of all, color. Um, the rhythm of the color through the painting. You work with contrast, warm contrast, cool contrast, versus, um, and black contrast or dark contrast versus light contrast. You work with the contrast of opposites. Um, you have a green. You have a green opposite a pink. These two are two colors of almost the same intensity, and they vibrate. Whenever you can work with them, um, can you ever take vibrate vibrations through your painting? They become a rhythm here. Um, the blue and the pink, uh, vibration of the green with um, the purple. Um, and then the metallic is another uh, tool to use it. Look at the connection with the edges. You see how the uh, a dark connects here so that and a purple shape here and then the orange shape here. So it's another tool for using abstraction. You get the rhythm of the edges. Here's a long a long rhythm and the shorter and then a shorter and then a slightly longer one. This becomes a part of the whole painting. Look at this shape or these colors in relation to this so that this becomes the rhythm with this. Um, the repetition. Repetition is another good uh, look at the repetition of these strokes. Another good tool. Um, the repetition of this. This takes you into the painting off the surface. The brighter the color, the more uh, uh, the denser the color, the denser the paint, um, the more it pops up and you're working on the surface. The darker the color, or sometimes you can uh, reverse that. You can take a darker color and put it on a light and you still feel the, how the darker color comes forward. This is almost a neutral and I'm playing that on top of a full intense vibrational color, a metallic yet. So this demands lots of interest in how this is happening. Um, look at the rhythm of it as it connects here and connects maybe here so that this in relation to this in relation to the uh, uh, metallic down here they're all working together to contribute to the overall feeling of the, pa of the painting. So there are an infinite number of ways in abstract art one can be creative uh, it's just limited to the individual artist. Yes indeed. From the studio of Mary Brooks artist in Santa Cruz California.